Interference. Obstruction. Oh, bribery. Yes, these are the three words that came up many times in the 300 pages leading up to the Judiciary Committee meeting on impeachment. Yeah, so we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about what the Democrats are trying to do, what their side of it is, what they're thinking about, why do they think the president is obstructing, why do they think that the president is interfering, and why it's total nonsense and why this is nothing more than a red herring to basically put this before the American people before the Christmas holiday so that they can say, yes, look what we did. Here's your president, America. But unfortunately, America doesn't want that. They want them to do their jobs. So we're going to talk about all of this and we're going to start right now. Hello, my name is Kyle and welcome to my channel where we take culture, TV and movies and we filter it right. If this is your first time here, please consider hitting that like and subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss any future content. I thank you so much for your support and I enjoy doing this on this channel and if you enjoy this content, please consider staying on board. And so with that, we're going to talk about this particular hearing that's going on right now before the House Committee, the Judiciary Committee, led by Mr. Jerry Nadler out of New York. Yes. And so we're going to talk about him a little bit, but also before I get started, the 300 pages that led up to this particular hearing is really incredible. What they have in this particular document is they have the word interference 79 times. They have the word obstruction 50 times and they hint around bribery all over the place. And the thing is, it's all hearsay. It's all wishful thinking. It's all opinion. It's all, oh, please, 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 please let this finally be the time that we can finally get rid of this orange man. He's just so horrible. We can't take it. And this has been going on since November of 2016. Mind you, this is exactly what this is. This is basically payback from their side to get back from them losing the election in 2016. Make no mistake about it. That's what's happening. They're ramming this thing through into Americans living rooms as much as they can and down our throats. Unfortunately for them, they are having some little second thoughts from some of their constituents, especially in the 31 purple districts in which Trump won many of which are freshmen and they want to win again, right? They want to, you know, go back to office. They don't want to just be there for two years and be gone. So there's some trepidation on their side, but I'm not going to get into that too much in this video. I'm going to talk about what's going on today and what happened yesterday leading up to this and what the Democrats are thinking and why are they so hell bent on trying to get this, well, we know why they try to get the president out of here, but why are they so hell bent on pushing forth a narrative that's been ultimately rejected by the American public? So, what we have is essentially this, right? So, you have the witnesses that came forth in the Intel Committee. That's what happened prior, right? Right now, we're dealing with the Judiciary Committee. Who knows what the difference is, right? So, this particular committee, uh, the Intel Committee, brought forth 12 witnesses. Okay, and so as I mentioned before, the 300 pages of hearsay, speculation, oh, please, 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 please let this be true document is something that is nonsense, right? But what we do know is this. We do know these facts. Number one, the 12 witnesses that came forward, they both agreed to these, that there was no quid pro quo. In fact, there was all, well, they didn't mention that in this per se. No, 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 no. They didn't say that. I'm saying that what they did say is that the Ukraine did get their funds without conditions. That's what they said, which to me says there's no quid pro quo. I don't believe they actually ever admitted to that particular site, but they never actually were able to prove it. But they did say that there were no conditions to the aid that was given to Ukraine. Now, what does that mean? If you're just joining this, you don't understand what's happening. So essentially, and there's a video on this as well. I did what's up with Ukraine. I, I'll leave a link to that above. But essentially what's going on with the Ukraine is this, is Ukraine is separate from Russia and Russia wants the eastern part of that back is Crimea area and so forth. And they don't want to go. They want, they're basically at odds with Russia. And as we know, Russia is not friends with America traditionally. So we are typically aiding Ukraine as best we can. Now under Obama, 
that could be questionable. But under Trump, I get into that a little bit later, we're doing a lot more tangible things that Ukraine can do to defend themselves against Russia. See, the Democrats want to say, oh my gosh, it's Russia. They're so horrible. They're so horrible. And then they want to say that President Trump is like this, some kind of puppet with Putin, that he is actually doing their bidding, even though Trump has done more against Russia than any leader in the past 30 years by far. Okay, he's done so much in squashing Russia and what they're trying to do against NATO and against what they're trying to do with the energy and so forth. And also backing their enemies, in this case, Ukraine. So that's number one. We know that the aid was given with no conditions. Number two, that the meeting was given with no conditions. Okay, that's another thing. So the meeting between Trump and Zelensky was a uh, our meeting for them just to get together with, with no conditions on top, no strings attached, just meeting. And lastly, that meeting was not by themselves. President Pence was there as well. And so they act like it's like President Trump in a, in a closet on the phone, whispering to the president of Ukraine, Psst, hey, yo, man, uh, check this out. So if you uh, decide that you want to um, uh, get this uh, these javelin rockets you know, against your enemy, um, tell you what, why don't you launch an investigation against this guy named Joe Biden? I think you're doing some dirty work, him and the son. If you do that, I will absolutely give you this aid and, and all this stuff, but you better do it. Otherwise, you know, you ain't getting anything. That's what the Democrats want you to believe happened. But of course, it didn't happen. Number one, we had the transcripts. And number two, what Adam Schiff said, notwithstanding what he said to the Congress, but every witness that came across said that there was no quid pro quo. Zelensky said that didn't happen. There's no evidence whatsoever. The transcripts there. There is nothing that they can say to point to that. But they want you to believe that. And so they put these things in there like interference and bribery and this and conjecture. And I think and might have. And I wasn't there. Oh, I heard from my third party's cousin's nephew's aunt. Right? All of this third party, fourth party conjecture stuff just isn't going to fly with the American people. And so even, so even the witnesses that the Democrats brought forth that were hostile to the president that were going to spew their side of their story that were going to be the star witnesses to slam it home put that nail in the coffin these people such as Jovanovich, taylor mr kent mr volker all of them essentially said that the policies that the trump administration put forth was a much stronger policy than what we got under president obama when it comes to lethal aid packages, when it comes to the Javelin rockets in defense, that was something that Trump gave, not Obama. Obama gave food and blankets, I guess. It was nothing of the lines of direct confrontation to Russia. So if Trump is really this puppet that they're trying to say he is, he's a horrible puppet. And you know, if you wanna take that contrast between him and Obama, I would argue maybe Obama was the puppet. I mean, think about it. I mean, I'm not saying he was, but if you're going to point that argument at Trump and then look at the evidence and say, hey, he, he's done this and Russia has been struggling in this capacity with energy, with Ukraine, with NATO, making sure that the NATO countries are putting up their fair share and making NATO stronger. And on the side note, this happened on the day that our president was overseas with our NATO allies to help keep our country and the world safe. NATO is a organization that was founded after World War II to essentially assure that if one country was attacked, they're all attacked. It was basically a Cold War measure to defend us against the Soviet Union. And so, and now the fact that the Democrats have been crying Russia, 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 Trump being a puppet, the fact that he goes over to Europe with NATO and tries to negotiate and try and get the leaders to pay their fair share to make NATO even stronger than it is against Russia. They're going to blast the president for doing that and laugh at him behind his back and so forth. There was video of other leaders doing that. And so it's the hypocrisy above hypocrisies. And it's just really telling that they really don't care about the issues. All they care about is getting this president out of office. It's their one single focus that they've had so far. Now, that being said, they came back from Thanksgiving break. They've been slammed by their constituents in their districts 
who are telling them, yo, what are you doing? Don't you see that you have this US, Mexico, Canada agreement on Pelosi's desk and it's collecting dust. It can give us tens of thousands of jobs around this country and help boost our economy even more. And yet you're going to do this impeachment stuff instead. Are you kidding? And so now you're getting that pushback, but Nadler, our hero of the story says, you know what? We're going to do it anyway. So what the Democrats are doing in essence is they are misrepresenting the evidence that they have, like I said, just so they can change the narrative. Okay. Because they know people aren't really paying attention and they think in their minds that, Hey, if we just do this, we can satisfy our radical base and the people who really care about this, the real voters, they aren't really paying attention until spring of next year anyway. So maybe we can get this going and do our promise, get Trump impeached. He gets acquitted in the Senate and then we can go on to election and then use that in the 2020 campaign. But that's not going to work out too well because to do that, they're going to have to get those 31 congressmen and women to vote for it. And those 31 congressmen and women happen to be in those purple districts who don't care about this and are angry that they are doing this instead of their jobs. So what about the obstruction? Okay. Let's talk about that a little bit. We know that there was no quid pro quo. All right. We know there was no interference. So what about the obstruction? The bribery is just something that they just talk about. There's nothing about that at all, but let's talk about the obstruction. So essentially the way it is this, what they're trying to say now is, and this has moved around a whole bunch. So what they're trying to say is this, they're trying to say that the president is not releasing information that they want in order to do their due diligence for this hearing. They're saying that because we're the house and judge Napolitano said this on Fox news, that the house has ultimate authority for impeachment. And that there's basically if they ask for something and you don't give it to them, that by definition is obstruction. Well, unfortunately for Mr. Napolitano and other people who are saying this, that is a stretch a big stretch because both sides have used the executive privilege to protect the office of the executive branch, which is the president. This is something that both sides have been using for years. It's a constitutional construct and it's been tested by both sides. And if they want to come out this Adam Schiff could have challenged this in court. Now what they're admitting on this is the Democrats are saying, look, we don't have to send it to court because we're the house. We can do whatever we want. That's their position. But at the same time, that is not the position of the, of what the constitutional construct says is not what the other parties in the past, Democrats and Republicans have done in the past with executive privilege to protect the office. And moreover this, here's the thing. The Democrats have created such a toxic environment that they leave the Republicans no choice but to hold back. So it's almost like, it's almost like you're, it's almost like you're in a situation where you're backed into a corner and someone's about to punch you and you can't move and you kick the person in the shin to try and get away. And then they say, see, he hit me. He attacked me. Well, what's happening is, is that the Republicans, in this case, the executive branch, the white house, is taking executive privilege for the mere fact that there is no due process. They're not allowed legal counsel. They're not allowed rebuttals. They're not allowed their constitutional rights to defense. They're not able to bring forth witnesses. They have to give up their executive privilege rights just to come into this hearing. And so what they want to do is they want to make sure that they put them into a position the, the Republicans. So where they have to turn this down, no, lawyer, no counsel of any worth would tell the president to go forth in these conditions. They're setting a trap for him and they're playing it out in the media. And so what the Democrats are, are saying is that the president withheld the aid to Ukraine for what they think investigation into Joe Biden, which by the way, Joe Biden admitted to obstructing justice by threatening them billions of dollars if they don't fire the person investigating his son. So the Democrats are really honing in on this. This is the key point that they want to get the president on. It's this. They're saying 
that the president had a discussion with Senator Johnson in which he said, you're going to be really happy with what is going to happen with the aid package to Ukraine. So Jim Jordan asked Senator Johnson to elaborate on that and send that in a report. Johnson said that he presumed that there was a quid pro quo presumed not that there was that he presumed there was a quid pro quo. So his discussion with the president, the president said, no, there was no quid pro quo. They get the aid. So that was cut down right there. The Democrats say that the president knew that, that he got caught and was just saying that, that he was saying that, oh, well, let me just put this on record that uh, I got caught now. So let me go ahead and say there's no quid pro quo. No, they omitted that the fact that Senator Johnson said that he presumed that there was quid pro quo in his discussion with the president. And then the president basically said, no, there is no quid pro quo. You see how that is? They're playing these semantics. It's sneaky, conniving. Why else would they omit that from the report? And so the executive privilege is nothing more than a separation of powers that's granted in the Constitution. Not to mention, again, we have President Zelensky said that there was no quid pro quo. If you enjoy the content on this channel where we take content of culture, TV, and movies, and we filter it right, please hit that like and subscribe button and that bell icon, and please share this with your friends as YouTube has changed its algorithm and it makes things a little bit more difficult for small time YouTubers to get the message out. And for stuff like this, it's gonna be more and more important that we do share these things because things are being demonetized, things are being ramped down. And as we get closer to 2020, it's gonna be harder and harder for these videos to go out and be repropagated properly. And as always, please check out some videos that I have right here.